favourites in my mind would be Hamsafer. Hum, yeah. Mm. That was like one of the standout ones that I remember we watched just a while back, probably one of my first ones that I've watched. <laughs> Asalaamu As Alaikum, I hope you're well as well. So today uh, we're discussing about uh, what we have been watching lots on the TV and um, it's uh, the Pakistani dramas. We have watched quite a few so we'll share what um, Faith thinks of the Pakistani dramas and uh, if she has any favourite and Probably why is that her favorite drama? Mm -hmm. So, should I just? Uh... I mean, yeah, I can just start really. I suppose, um, and we watched quite <coughs> a few dramas now, like over the years. Um, uh, we're watching one currently, um, but probably favorites in my mind would be Hamsa, Ham, Hamsafer. Yeah. That was like one of the standout ones that I remember we watched just a while back, probably one of my first ones that I've watched. Mm. But I still remember that um, drama and I really enjoyed that one. So I'll get back to why I like that one. So uh, that was oh. the first drama that we watched. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, was it on Netflix or YouTube, I think? Mm. One of, um, yeah. But um, um, that was the first drama you watched. I think so. That was drama really good. You really I set the bar high for the first enjoyed time. Enjoyed yeah. that. That was really good. Yeah, um, she watched it with subtitles, so she understood as well. <laughs> and I think uh, she do pick up some um, lines without subtitles. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, okay. if I was to yeah. um, ask you, you, you have watched other dramas as well. Mm. Um, the second one we watched was um, Sadke Tumhare and then we watched Zindagi Gulzar Hai mm. and I think um, the one we're watching now is Alif. Mm. Um, I have my favourite uh, I think but she has her favourite as well. So Ham Safar was the first one you watched and you think that... I think, do you know what it is? Like I've watched a, f a fair few... British or American dramas. I wasn't, uh, I'm not a big fan of dramas really in like um, sort of America or um, British dramas, but I was, uh, Pakistani dramas are dramas. Like there's so much going on. You can't always predict the characters, like what their involvement is, how far they are willing to go to mess up with <laughs> whatever they want to do like there's some drama in there um, but it's also not like unrealistic or it's like that border between that this person really you know it's, it, if you think of it um, it's quite um, real life exactly it's real life it's quite um, real I've um, seen people like that in that's why I think I get society so here yeah yeah exactly in Pakistan as well so we do get people <laughs> like that who I don't come across just create them. dramas in yeah, real life absolutely. so I, I think quite realistic these they dramas. are they're realistic and it's the fact that they I've said about this before I think um, but it's the fact that then it's not all clustered together in like a few short episodes mm -hmm. it's um it's extended for quite a few, um, you know, they can get up to maybe 20 or more different episodes just based around um, the sort of the same story and stuff. So it's really slow moving, but it's not, you're hooked all the time. Like, it's so hard for me to just stop. Like, it's something I just want to binge watch. Um, and that's how I felt about Hamsafer. Mm -hmm. It was just like, and it's always like towards the sort of, once you've sort of passed maybe 10 episodes, like things are really going on by then. And there's so many sort of ends of different bits of the story and they're all coming together. And it all starts to connect. Yeah, I just love the way they're written mm. like that. Um, I loved the actors in Hamsafer. I'll talk about them. But I, I just loved that. Um, I was hooked to that drama so much. Do you think it was an interesting 
storyline. Yeah. So if any, yeah. So if anybody doesn't know, if anybody hasn't watched it, I won't ruin it for anybody because it's really good. Um, but it's sort of just about um, there's a relationship um, and there's a sort of a relationship around the family, and it's all a bit about um, what goes on in that relationship and um, people getting involved. Um, and it's there's just so much going on, mm. and um, yeah, loved it. Really, really good. So, um, and who really, was your favorite actor yeah. in that drama? That um, Ma- Ma- Mahira. Mahira Khan. Oh. Huh? Mahira yeah. Khan. She's great. I'd watch her again in any. I think I probably have watched her in a, even some movies she's done now. Um, but I definitely think she's a great actress. Like, um, she's so believable. It's just, I really invest in her story and the way that she, like her character. Mm-hmm. I, it, I, she's just, I think she's so talented and she's mm-hmm. obviously very beautiful and um, she can play the different characters and the different, you know, really, really well. She obviously really um, understands her character and, and um, yeah. I really it's, enjoyed it's both of them, her. Uh, Mahira Khan and Fabad Khan, that mm. was the guy in the drama, they're very popular and um, I think I enjoyed um, their chemistry in that drama. Yeah, and definitely. It was, um, it was a nice it's story. Like, yeah, so much going on and obviously there's like different sort of um, things going on in their relationship but they play each scene and each different part, whether it's a love scene or an argument or... Um, you know who who that character's trusting at the time, like all of these different things. It's they're just mm. it's just perfectly played. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I think direction and um, story was brilliant. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And do you know what? They're not like they're not like American. Like I can't imagine them being. You know, like the investment that's gone into them, like millions and millions of pounds and expensive cars and or whatever it is that makes it like quite a high-end movie it's actually done on such an like a really it makes you just feel like it's more about the writing and it's more about the talent of the actors rather than all of these other things that kind of come in to Hmm. um kind of enhance a movie do you know what i mean It, Hmm. it feels honest and it feels um you know, it's slow paced, it, it, you feel like you're, it just is relaxing for that, it's not too intense, yeah. I feel like. The intensity, uh, even if it's there, um, overall pace of the dramas, I think is very relaxing It's to realistic, watch. It's, yeah, you feel like you've it's kind not, of gone um, through that period of time. Like dramas from some other countries, mm. which um, uh, I think I cannot even stand for a second, they become so so unrealistic and so dramatic yeah exactly and then you kind of lose you realize okay i'm watching a drama or i'm you know i'm watching a movie because you just you can't absorb yourself so much into it because no one's life is like that let's be honest in some of these dramatic over enhanced sort of uh, stories but with these you actually can so relate to most of the characters and it's just um or their life Mm. so i really really like that and actually yeah for anyone like me who it was sort of getting to know a culture and getting to know a language. Watching dramas that are really popular and I know like, you know, your mum might have watched them or like your friends might have watched them. Your friend actually recommended one to us not that long ago. Um, it's nice that, um, you know, I'm sharing that because um, it, it helps me from like a perspective of just trying to learn more about your culture, language, what's what's going on. It's just a fun way of doing it rather than the sort of the serious stuff. Yeah. It's fun to get it involved with more of like the, the light hearted or fun things like dramas and movies and yeah. songs and whatever else comes yeah. up. And yeah. For me, um, I really enjoyed Hum Supper. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really enjoying um, this drama, Alif. Mm. I think it's a this would be very next one. good story Favorite. and um, it's the journey, I think, mm. um, that they've shown of the lead character, uh, which is Hamza Ali Abbasi, and um, that journey, the way it's been written and the way it's been directed. They're, I think they're it's telling very... two separate stories that are kind of emerging and now yeah. from where we're at into sort of one story. The people are all connected somehow, but the fact that you can tell you the way that it's been 
made you're following both storylines really really well and mm. it kind of jumps back and forth and um you're just as excited to watch each um storyline as you are the other and they keep jumping back and you have to keep you know it's just the way it's written you just don't want to stop watching them it's mm. like they're perfect binge watching kind of programs they're just you you're hooked to the story basically um, mm -hmm. and we've now gotten so invested in some of the characters mm. and I it's think, really um, great. I uh, think the drama artists, the actors um, in Pakistan, I think they're brilliant. Mm. Um, the acting, um, it's not overacting like we see from some other uh, uh, countries and it's it's just so realistic and yeah. it's, it's, it's a pleasure to watch I yeah. think these dramas. I Definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's not much of um like um I thought to be fair when I, before we started watching Pakistani movies, Pakistani dramas, there'd be a lot of dramatic scenes. You know, like that over kind of um when they sort of zoom in or dramatic music and into the facial expression. Yeah, it's nothing like Bollywood. It's nothing like yeah. that. It's absolutely nothing like that. I mean, Bollywood is great because it's Bollywood. Yeah. But this is great because. It's just it's 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 completely its own, and um, and obviously like maybe I compared Pakistan and India quite a lot, but in terms of drama and terms of films, they are on different spectrums. Like yours are so slow paced and so, um, they it just it, it's just um, shot in such a different way. Whereas like I've watched a fair few um, Bollywood movies as well. Um, and there's a lot going on and they're great if you want some real fun and some you know you just want to take yourself out of whatever's going on in your life and just get absorbed into these kind of characters and the fun and the colors and stuff but in terms of like um, a relaxing um, storyline that you just want to just enjoy and really take you know time to watch all of it um, because they are long some of them um, Pakistani dramas are great for that. Really mm -hmm. enjoying them. Mm -hmm. I really am. Yeah, for me, like I said, it's um, Alif is a very um, good watch, and um, I'm really enjoying watching the journey of a person and how he evolves during that journey. Mm. And I think uh, that is something that all of us can relate with, mm. and. Uh, we all have our journeys and um, we see ups and downs in life. So I think it's it's a great watch and it's uh, directed and written beautifully. If I'm missing some TV, I definitely now go to search for Pakistani dramas. Like they are something I find as enjoyable as watching something in my own language and my own like they are great. Especially you know you just want to have some time together and watch some TV in the evening. I really enjoy when I, when you've got a good drama going. There's, there's yeah. probably nothing better. It's great. <laughs> it's great for downtime. <laughs> yeah, we can keep going on and on discussing about um, what we like about Pakistani dramas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for now, um, I think uh, we have shared with you the dramas that we have watched. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep watching to our YouTube channel and um, we'll really appreciate if you subscribe to it as mm -hmm. well. A thumbs up for us if you like this video and um, our website is www.spicykissa.co.uk If you would like to get some quick recipes do visit our website or uh, check out other videos on our YouTube channel. So till tomorrow it's a goodbye from both of us. We'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.